Hello, and welcome back to uh, Daily Doodling. I'm the host, Ken Coleman, and today is Christmas. So today's doodle will be a little Christmas ornament, a bobble as some call it, a little spherical shaped ornament. And I've assembled a palette here. This top one is called Carnelian Red or Cornell Red. And the hexacode is B31B1B. So if you're looking at Photoshop or if you're looking at Wikipedia, anything, B31B1B is the code designated for this specific color. The hexacode is six different digits, and each figure is one of the numerals 0 through 9 or A through F, the first six letters. The second color is Russian green. And I found out that this is named such since from about 1700 to the end of the Russian Empire, the regiments of Russia were known for wearing this shade. The hex code is 679 Two six seven, And the last color, since carnelian is on the darker shade of red and green is, it has a little personality, it's a little desaturated compared to the carnelian, creating contrast and uh, complementary nature. I was looking for a darker shade of off-white that could add a little dimension. So I chose a color called Dutch White and the hex code is E F D F B B. Okay, let's start. So I am going to use my pencil tool and a little bit smaller, not too small. All right, so start with green. With the pencil tone, you can get a lot of shading, depending on how much pressure you place on your drawing instrument. For me, it's a Wacom stylus. Wacom? Sorry, I'm not sure on that pronunciation. Just now remembering that it may not have been the best of ideas to choose a sphere as the subject matter. Fortunately, doodles aren't meant to be perfect. And this sketch is going to have a little bit of a tree branch for it to hang on. hook and it's going to have some shade so Merry Christmas for everyone who celebrates all celebrants going to try doing some nice simple a little bit, a little bit wonky designs. Nothing too geometric. Just a little, let's call it marbling. And that is going to be the darkest that we can get from this Russian green. As I was picking my palette for today, I was, I couldn't help but think of Bob Ross, but my, the more of a go-to 
reference was a Crayola box, a box of crayons. Growing up, I would marvel at all of the colors available to me. And I was looking at the uh, Wikipedia names for all of these colors. And it reminded me of the days where I could just pluck a school bus orange or a mac and cheese orange or a, a salmon pink a razzmatazz. And it was so fun. I even used the crayons in college and every now and then I won't tell you how many years out of college. So the next shade is the red, the carnelian. And I just love how deep this red is getting. I'll add a little bit of shadow at the base of where the hook is going to go in. So this is going to be daily doodles. I am aiming to put out content on a daily basis. And I can only hope that I find such great inspiration and a wide variety of fun color, uh, a wide variety of fun colors to work with each day for you. find it an entertaining hobby and I thought that I'd, I'd like to share it with you process and coloring 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 you can do it along if you want to seek out these colors you can just type in those hexacodes You can find a similar crayon. I think Crayola still has a color named the Brick Red or Fire Engine Red or maybe a Jade Green. So I think that I'm going to use the the Dutch white to create a gleam here in this little section. Fade off and that way when I bring the Dutch white in it will give us sort of an orangey tone. And we can draw some edges, uh, ridges onto there, as if the green was just painted on. And some shadows there. I don't have any browns for these branches. I think that part of the fun is restricting the palette and it leads to some ingenuity and unique color combinations. So I'm going to see what I can concoct with some warm tones for this. Add some depth to the leaves. Don't worry, we're not going to have branches of red, but it's just to give some pop to the needles. Okay. 
darkness on that tone. A fun thing about the complementary colors is that they can provide so much depth to their opposites. They're in their my direct opposites on the color wheel. You not only get a great red-green contrast, it gives a little pop. And in a tit-for-tat way, you can do the same thing with the green. make our own brown. So the green is going to come in here. My dinner's almost ready. Gotta go soon, so I'm going to make this quick. Uh, we add a little green. Nice amount of green onto that hook. I'll be right down. And this color will not just suit as an off-white, but it will also give us a little bit of gold. Highlights on the needles. And I'll bring in that gleam, uh, the Dutch white that I've been talking about earlier. Just some finishing touches. Let's colors to make the Dutch white really pop. Some angle to the branch. Just a little bit more. All right, there we have it. And the name is Ken Coleman. Thank you for joining me for today's daily doodling, daily doodles, my today's daily doodle. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. And you can also subscribe to see more of these videos. Leave the comments below if you have any type of subject matter or colors to request. What are your favorite colors? So, Merry Christmas to all who celebrate Joyeux Noël and all of that. For all others, season's greetings.
Bye.